Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for dropping in. Quick video today. I got a call from Rudy, from Rudy's Retro Intel, because he had a, a pet that was smoking. And he thought that it was a capacitor that is way, way in the back. Back by the power. But it ends up it wasn't. He turned it on again to see what was what, and... From what he told me, I believe, I think, this one here was having issues, as was this one, and perhaps some of these little guys. And, um, yes, anyway, I had to dig around. Now, I am in the midst of gathering pets, so um, it's not outrageous to think that I would go be able to look around and gather a pet. But it had to be the same board. And, um, yeah. So this one is the 1978 version. I don't remember much else. It's all, um, there's not a whole bunch of stuff on this board in terms of the documentation or the, the, the copyright or anything. It's way in here, way back. And, um, anyway, so I found this. And, um, it ended up that the capacitors, these little guys that were in the machine he had, um, were, uh, hard, it was hard to, to, to see the value, so anyway, I managed to, hello, Penny, get things turned around, oh no, Penny's coming this way, Penny, 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 hold on there, Penny, I will pet you here, do not knock the camera, please, um, but this one, um, well, it was not hard to see the value, on the one in his machine, the value in this machine and the other machine was different. Now, I have heard lots of people in the electronic world say, oh, well, yeah, that's within acceptable tolerances, or it doesn't really matter if the voltage rating is a little higher or whatever. Um, and I, of course, I took electronics, but I didn't grasp it tremendously well, but I can, you know, get by and all. But, uh, it's funny, you would think that when somebody gives you a parts list and it says they need a whatever, whatever, that uh, that's what they need. That's what they should get. That's what it should be. Anyway. Actually, the other day, I made a trip to a store in Toronto, Sayal Electronics, to get, oh no, Penny's coming again, to get a capacitor. Um, that I needed to, for Rudy's uh, project on getting composite video out of a pet. And, oh, hi, Penny. Where'd you go? Anyway, so I, uh, I went in and I looked around and I couldn't seem to see what I wanted. And then uh, I called the guy over and I said, I'm looking for this. And I showed him exactly what, because I had the board with me. And he said, no, oh, no, we don't have that. And then he started to walk away. And I said, um, can you get it? And he said, nope. And he walked away. <sighs> Nothing like good customer service. Anyway, I think I was finally able to get a RAM uh, socket that I can use in the chocolate pet there. Although it is not the kind that I would have liked. But, you know. I need to get more online and find other sources and find other things um, so that I can get, you know, what I need and not keep going back to the store that, um, well, at times they have things. Like, I did pick up something. What did I pick up? Um, the sockets. The two, I think I got two of the RAM sockets. And... Oh, I picked up some test wire lead things, and I intend to use them mostly on the Commodore 64 and VIC-20 power supplies with the round power connector, because so far I really haven't found an effective way to stick my probes in there without shorting something out, so I don't do it. But I figure with some of these little cables that have protected alligator clips on the end that I can get a good grip. And then I can safely test voltages 
and not have to risk blowing up a machine. And I know, of course, everybody says, get a modern power supply. It's sort of like what everybody says, go gluten-free. Well, I still have not had tremendous agony or distress with the old power supplies as of yet. I have had some that are bad, and I get rid of them. Um, but I know, I know, I know, the, the modern ones are better. I just haven't found the one yet for me to say, yes, that's the one. Anyway, so, um, uh, from what I know, Rudy has ordered his, uh, his different um, replacement capacitors, and I'm still not sure about this one, whether the value in this one is correct, or the value in the one that he has is correct. But I suppose when it comes to recapping a machine, when it comes to a pet such as this, it looks to me that there would be one, two, eight. There's three more capacitors like this down closer to where I am. So that's 11. And then there does seem to be three more um, that are down towards the left side of the board. And that would seem to be, and then of course there's the big one near the power supply. And I'm not sure if they are prone to failure or not. But anyway, um, I mean, there's lots of other tiny little capacitor things. I, I'm not sure what needs to be changed, but indeed where down the street is, you should change the capacitors. But of course, if you are not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Let somebody who is comfortable doing it, do it. Soldering irons are hot. You need to be careful. Anyway, I continue to gather the pets and I'm not exactly ready to show what's going on in this room, but at this moment, there are uh, 14, 14 pets, and I still have many more to gather. For example, I know in the kitchen there's three, and then I was looking into the pool room where there, the ones I could see, there's three, but there's more under the table. There's one in the basement for sure, maybe more. There's certainly one in the garage. That will be quite the thing to get to. Um, and a lot of these, I haven't tried turning them on. I'm, I'm really not concentrating on anything to do with turning them on right now or doing much of anything. I'm just gathering them because it's time to get them all together so I can figure out what's what and what is staying. Oh, sorry about that. What is staying, what is going, and um, put some things up for sale so that other collectors, whether they have one or more or none, can start to tinker on things. I have, actually just looking around here, there's one, two, three, four super pets. None of them have the super pet board in it, although I do know that in the kitchen there is a super pet that does or should have the board still in it. Not that I don't have any of the super pet boards, I know I have at least one, maybe more. When I would gather them or find them or such, I often found that the pet side was defective and the super pet side worked. So I have um, helped some people along the way over the years to either put a board back into their super pet or replace one that was not good. Or um, there's ever, the ever popular taken 8032. And even though it doesn't say super pet, all you have to do is install the board, hook up all the things, have the switches at the side, and poof, your 8032 becomes a super pet, even though it doesn't say it. It's kind of a sleeper like that. Anyway, all right, Penny is summoning me, and I need to carry on. By the way, this, this pet here, I think you can just see this evil little thing. This is a 4016, and here, I should have maybe aired in a little more. Maybe I could move this ever so gently. This is, oh, that didn't work. Maybe I can do it like this. This is one of the 4016s 
that Commodore Canada butchered so you couldn't expand it. Um, because, of course, the price difference between a 4032 and a 4016 was more than what it cost. Oh, dear, that didn't work. To go out and buy chips and put them in yourself. So they decided they would put a stop to that. And it doesn't really really mean it put a stop to it, it just made it more difficult. Anyway, so this is the 4016. Last I turned it on, it worked. But remember, when someone says, oh yeah, it works, last time I turned it on, it was fine. Um, it doesn't mean it works. It does not. It does not. It does not. There still could be issues. The issues of time. Anyway. All right. So, onward. I look forward to hearing more from Birdie about if the pet that he is replacing capacitors on, if there was any other damage, or if he replaces the capacitors, and then it comes to life, and all is good. And do I think that's going to happen? No. I bet you there's something else going on. Not that that is what made the capacitors fail. I just think there's probably something else happening. But I would like to be wrong. So, until we meet again, bye for now.